Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about the best newborn formulas to help keep your baby happy and healthy. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a board certified nurse practitioner and I have over 12 years nursing experience working in mother baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC, I'm maternal newborn nursing certified and I have received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders as well as perinatal bereavement. Figuring out what kind of formula to feed your baby can be very confusing. Let's explore the different types of formula and why you might choose to use them. When choosing a formula for your baby, the first thing you need to decide is what type of preparation is good for you. There are three formula preparations to choose from. The first is powdered formula, and this is the least expensive version of the three types. Powdered formula is mixed with water and dissolves creating the milk for your baby. It is extremely important that you follow the directions for the powdered formula or you can make your baby very sick. The next type of formula is a concentrated liquid formula. This is more expensive than powdered formula and must also be mixed with water. A disadvantage of this formula is that once it is opened, it must be used in a very short period of time. Also, it is important when using concentrated formula that other people who may feed your baby know that the concentrate must be mixed with water or it can make your baby sick. Finally, the last type of formula is ready to use liquid formula. This is pre-mixed and can be given right from the bottle. Ready to feed formula can be stored at room temperature and in the refrigerator for up to 48 hours once opened. It is very convenient for on the go use. However, this is the most expensive option for formula. The most common type of formula used is a cow's milk formula. These formulas use cow's milk protein as their base and contain lactose and minerals from the cow's milk. The formula is then changed to try and more closely resemble breast milk. Most babies do well with cow's formula. However, colic, fussiness, and gas are the most common issues associated with cow's milk formula. Research has shown that formula is usually not the cause of these issues. Therefore, it is not necessary to switch formulas without talking to your pediatrician first. Common types of cow's milk formula include Enfamil Newborn, Similac Advance, Similac Non-GMO, and Earth's Best Organic. Lactose-free formula is an excellent choice for your baby. Lactose is a milk sugar. When an infant has lactose intolerance, drinking a standard cow's milk formula can cause colic and gas leading to severe discomfort in the baby. Lactose intolerance is rare in babies, however it can occur for a short period of time following an illness that caused diarrhea. If this happens, babies do not need to switch to a lactose-free formula. Lactose-free formulas may also be used for babies diagnosed with galactosemia. Before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about soy-based formulas. Soy-based formulas are formulas using soy protein as their base. These formulas do not contain lactose. The American Academy of Pediatrics, or AAP, recommends using cow's milk formulas rather than soy-based formula when possible. If cow's milk formula is not an option or if parents prefer to avoid animal protein, the AAP recommends breastfeeding first. Soy-based formulas can be used if these are not viable options. Babies can be allergic to the soy protein, and these soy-based formulas may still cause colic and fussiness in babies. Soy-based formulas are also used in infants with galactosemia. Examples of soy-based formulas include Enfamil Isomil, Similac Isomil, and Gerber Good Start Soy. Protein hydrolysate formulas are commonly used for babies who have allergies to milk proteins. They can also be used for babies who experience wheezing or rashes caused by allergies. 
Protein hydrolysate formulas are hydrolyzed, either partially or extensively. This means the protein in the formula has been broken down into smaller pieces, which makes it easier to digest. Extensively hydrolyzed formulas are sometimes advertised as pre-digested formula. Hydrolyzed formulas are usually more expensive than standard infant formulas. Examples of partially hydrolyzed formula include Gerber Good Start, Similac Sensitive, and Enfamil Regulin. Examples of extensively hydrolyzed formula include Enfamil Nutramigen, Similac Elementum, and Gerber Extensive HA. Amino acid formulas are formulas that break down the protein to the smallest unit possible, the amino acids. These formulas are used for babies who are allergic to cow's milk proteins or have a milk protein-induced proctocolitis. This formula, like hydrolyzed formulas, do not taste good, but babies will quickly adapt to the flavor due to their immature taste buds. Amino acid formulas require special preparations separate from other formulas, so it's important to read the labels when making this formula. Examples of amino acid formulas include Neocate, Pure Amino, Elecare, and Alpha Amino. Formulas in the United States are regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, to ensure their quality and ingredients are safe and appropriate for infants. Many formulas are fortified with different ingredients to provide additional nutrition for babies. Iron fortification, or adding iron to formula, has helped reduce the incidence of iron deficiency anemia. Iron is an essential mineral for the growth and development of babies. The AAP recommends that all babies who are fully formula fed or partially breastfed be fed iron fortified formula up to age one. Another common fortification seen in infant formula is the addition of DHA and ARA fatty acids. These fatty acids assist with the development of your baby's brain and eyes. Finally, many formulas are now adding probiotics and prebiotics to them. Probiotics are good bacteria that can assist with the digestion and gut health. Prebiotics are manufactured oligosaccharides that promote a healthy gut lining and are meant to mimic human milk oligosaccharides. Babies should be given infant formula until age one. After that, they should be given whole cow's milk until age two. Babies under the age of one should not be given whole cow's milk or toddler formula. The AAP and FDA warn against the use of foreign formulas or homemade formulas due to their lack of regulation. The FDA screens and tests commercial formulas to ensure they meet proper nutritional standards for the growth and development of your baby. Formulas that are not regulated may not be safe for your baby. Store brand or generic formulas are cheaper than brand name formulas and just as safe for your baby. They are also regulated by the FDA to ensure their quality and safety. Never use formula that is expired or formula from packages that are opened or damaged. When preparing formula, make sure to wash your hands and follow the mixing instructions exactly to prevent illness in your baby. Choosing a newborn formula can be very stressful and confusing. I hope this has explained the differences between newborn formulas and given you the information you need to choose one for your baby. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.